Yeah, okay. No more rockets. I didn't like that thing. It, it, it worked just perfectly. It was, it was smooth. Nothing broke. It just launched, and, and there were no problems at all. No more rockets. We're not doing any more rockets. We're going to get in here, and I'm going to, even though, even though I know full well that just very soon we're going to have the, the next update that's going to come out and going to make any kind of aircraft obsolete. Uh, with, with all the new toys we're going to play with, and they're going to have another update after that. It's going to actually give us, you know, actual wings at some point in time. Not too, uh, not too terribly distant future. Um, even though, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to build an airplane that is a reusable launch vehicle in order to get where my, in order to get this monstrosity, our <laughs> replacement long-range muon detector, up into lunar orbit. Yeah, we're just going to try not to talk too very much about that whole incident with dropping it off into the into, <laughs> into the orbit around the moon. Okay, yeah, while I'm playing while I'm playing around in here, and hang on here, let's get out of this one. We'll see. Yeah, these guys here. We have these two are busily mapping away, although although I gather that maybe they're not I have to actually leave one or the other room focused and leave the game running like overnight or something in order to generate a good map of the moon, which I have not yet done. But those two guys, they're still mapping. We're going to try and get a replacement muon detector up there. All right. We'll start with this one. Let's go ahead and put my SAS there. There's my nose cone with SAS. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, see, I was thinking I'm, I'm not going to use Oxcart 8 because I, well, just really just because I want to build something different. <laughs> Here, let's go with, no, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want my RCS tanks. Let's go ahead and give them two RCS tanks. So this is going to be cart nine. Or actually, I suppose I can't even call it cart nine quite yet. Let's go with um, for our first testing of this vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and use. We're not going to launch it with a payload yet, so I'll just put that on there. Okay. And now let's think on this. I, I, I've got a sketch in my head for cart nine. I, I got a general idea of what I want to do with this one. Yeah, there's that piece. Okay, okay, that works. Okay, so we've got our RCS tanks. We've got this thing that's good. Now where's this one with rocket fuel? This one holds rocket fuel. Bang, there we go. Okay, and let me see, there was this other piece that I was thinking about using, or was it, no, these ver verniers, 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 here we go, that's what I was thinking about using, all will become clear shortly, I actually went and modded these things, I've, I've made one test vehicle in the past when I was thinking about using these, as as an as a engine see it doesn't need a whole lot of thrust these are only going to be used in orbit and also yeah maybe just a little bit of maneuvering to, back you know in atmosphere but i modded these so that they're not so bright so you can actually see you can see what's happening okay that'll work that'll work now where'd this tail piece go uh there it is Got my name on it and everything. Ain't that kind of cool? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm I'm liking the looks of that. I want this thing to be small, very very small, very lightweight. But this will work. Okay, let's put some, hang some wings on the business, huh? So 
So what I'm thinking is I'm going to attach um, uh, a decoupler. A decoupler, what's it back here? See? Where this decoupler, what's it go? Yeah, it's a standard decoupler right there. And then I can attach all kinds of various payloads and stuff back there. It's just kind of a universal part for whatever I may want to stick back there. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of liking the looks of this. That... I don't think this is symmetrical, though. Let's make this one move it over a notch. Okay, I'm thinking that looks pretty cool. Looks like an airplane to me. Um, I'll go ahead and call it right now. This is, oh, I actually don't know if it's going to be controllable. Here, this is AT-8. No, 9. 9. I was, I was forgetting what number I'm on. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Looks to me like that's going to work so far. Now I need some RCS in this thing, don't I? Okay, there's AT-9. Of course, it won't launch right now. If I tried it, it would just fall over. It's bouncing. Oh, this is not... Look at that. This one's... And just to get it off the ground... Something like a little stilt here. I've made, I've made a vehicle similar to this thing before, but not one exactly like this. That's why I've, I've got my idea already of some of the stuff that needs done. Um, okay, I th I'm taking a look here. I see these need some struts, don't they? Let's strut those things together. Okay, AT-9. Will it fly? Let's find out. Wait a second. This is Rager, Weck 15, Heisler, and Kenosh Chris No, these are the same guys that are already orbiting the moon. What? Doesn't make any sense. I think I think my game is confused. Hang on, we'll just leave this guy parked here. I just need to check something really quick. That wouldn't make any sense. Those guys were in the mum mapper, right? There's Rager, like 15, and Kanash. Oh, crap! That was not desired. What happened to my orbit? Um, okay, it wasn't really a horrible disaster. What? I think I see what's happening. I, I plugged my joystick and stuff in the wrong order, didn't I? Yeah, that's what happened. The game is bugged. Okay, okay, I have to shut things down and then we'll come back. Whoa, glitches all over the place. Hang on, guys. You don't get sick or nothing. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, uh, had all kinds of technical glitches and errors. It was crazy stuff, man. This, we got we got our clones, Rager, Wet15, Heisler, Kanosh, Krasomovich. We have two of them. So I guess the the clo there's a mix-up at the cloning that's... Uh, I'm not going to pretend to even know what's going on. Um, let me see. We don't actually want to burn this booster. I'm just using that as a stilt. Get that thing up there. Okay, yeah, and we had... My old control problem, so but the you know the other the other Rager, Weck 15 Heisler and Kanash Krasomovich, those guys are uh, they'll be okay. They're just spinning around the moon and they don't really have anything else to do, so I'm not worried about them. Let me get my joystick up here. AT9. Let's find out. Are you gonna be a decent vehicle? First we shall decouple. All right, then I'll fire those engines, and let's go! That's a problem. Yeah, that's... that's... <laughs> that's not gonna work. <laughs> um... <laughs> that's okay, well, I was planning on just using those these these little 
thrusters for um for outside work anyway. For I mean for for um for up upper orbit work. All right, hang on. Let's end this flight. Um, vehicle assembly building. No, no, I said load the craft. Load AT9. Okay, here's a thought. Here's a thought. We're just going to use this booster. See, I'm not really. I don't need these these engines to be strong enough to take this thing off the ground like that. Um. Yeah. Yeah, we do four of these guys. And this time we're going to use the booster. All right. Launch. 89 debris. It's not very polite. It's not debris. It's a whole vehicle. Okay. Here we go. First flight test. 89. Are you, are you going to be a viable, a viable vehicle for us? Let's... Oh, yeah. I almost forgot the... Precision control. Let's go. I just have to kind of wait, wait it out for the. That's nice and stable so far. And I know from previous experience, I know better than to try and decouple and get rid of this of that booster. I'm just kind of to wait and get rid of it later. Wee. Actually, you know what? Let's try it. Let's get rid of that thing. This is boring. There we go. And there just broke my engines right off. I should not have done that. That was the wrong thing to do. All right. Now, okay. Um, we are. We do seem to be a fairly acceptable glider. Ex um. 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 No! No! <laughs> That's okay. You know, it's freaking me out having these these extra uh, these extra clones around. I we just had to get them out of there. Mm. That was sad. <laughs> Who we got? We got Dury Kerbovich, El Kermanato, and Michael Kerman. Pretty cool. Oh, we got debris over there. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, precision control, launch that booster. Yeah, let's actually go just go try and go straight up this time, huh? Jury's feeling kinda mellow. Both Kermanato and Michael Kerman are both freaking out. Even even though this has been a very, very uneven, very smooth flight. I mean, you guys have nothing to be freaking out about at this moment. Okay, get rid of that booster. That's good. Launch that. Let's burn. Okay. Let's see how AT9 handles with an actual, you know, engines and stuff. Alright. It's actually kind of sluggish in roll. Then I am moving very slow right now, and I'm kind of concerned about the inability to get that nose up. I'm very concerned about that, actually. Um, yeah, this is control all the way back. Can we can we get that nose up, please? Even a little bit? I mean, I can see my control surfaces are moving. They are, right? Yeah, they are. Maybe they're not moving enough. Okay. Okay, we're moving a couple of degrees, but it's this is not good. No, this is not good. I need I need more of an up angle. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. No, no, Dirty, I was just getting to know you. El Carbonato, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, 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 so this vehicle was uh, extremely nose heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, what am I going to do about that? Here, let's try something. Uh, where'd the structural part? There we go. Oh, that's right. It's not going to put on there. Go on, attach with those wings in there. Let's extend this tail out some. Yeah, which means I have to fix the tail fin again. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that looks better. 